Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about optional, which is a type provided by the typing module in Python, and why it's maybe not the best named type and probably doesn't mean what, what you immediately jump to in your head. Um, so let's jump into it and explain what's going on there. Okay, so let's start with, I guess, a bit of code. And the optional type comes from the typing module. Of course, that's how you write imports. And you can you know, annotate a variable with this. Let's say optional int. Um, and this might look a little bit weird because, um, <laughs> Well, I guess, I guess I'll show you what it does first, and then I'll show you why I think it's a bad name. Uh, so let's set up a virtual environment. We will pip install MyPy. And MyPy has this uh, built-in called reveal type, which will show us what the type of this value is here. And optional, you'll actually see, uh, is kind of a shortcut for a different type to MyPy t.py. Uh, you will see that the reveal type that we get back here uh, doesn't mention optional at all, but instead mentions union of built-ins int with none. And so what optional is actually, or at least how I think about optional, is it's more uh, nullable type, meaning it could be the type or it could also be none. Now, when I think of optional, I think of arguments that, you know, have a default value and, you know, you don't always have to specify this, so you optionally pass Y. That's that's what comes to my head when I think of optional. And actually, you don't want to use this type when you're dealing with things that have a default value, unless their default value is none. Uh, so for instance, if you know we had this function return int and took these two parameters, say this was int and this one is int, and yeah, the spacing for default arguments changes when you start type annotating stuff. Uh, that's what pep8 says. Anyway, let's say we did return x times y, x times y. You'll note here that we don't actually type this as optional at all. And uh, if we you know, reveal type y, you'll see that it is just int. And this means that you would always pass an integer into this. Now, if you were to type this as optional, you'll actually get a type error. In this particular case, I mean, you might not in other cases, but in this particular case, you would see here that we would get unsupported types for star, int, and none. And it might be a little bit confusing, like, wait, where did none come from? <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, fortunately, they give a little hint here that says the right the right operand is of type optional int, and that came from here. Um, and this, you know, again, optional int is just a shortcut for union of int with none. Now, there's some uh, <laughs> there's some nice new syntax that might be coming in the future. I don't know if it's I, I forget whether it's finalized or not. Uh, which will allow you to do this as the type for optional. That way you don't need to import anything at all. And you can just say, you know, the type is either int or none. Um, but I don't think this is finalized yet, but it will be pretty cool in the future. And then you won't need, you know, you won't need to import this. And I think this is a, a lot, it makes a lot more sense to me what type this is and isn't, you know, confusing about the word optional. Um, if somehow I were able to go in a time machine and convince people that optional is a bad name, I would probably have suggested something like nullable or, you know, maybe not even have it at all and just force people to use union none. Um, but anyway, we're stuck with optional, so <laughs> that's, that's what we got. But anyway, hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.